It's that time again. What's up, everybody? This is Dad's Land and Fab. Hope you enjoy the show. Deuces. <laughs> Boom. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, and welcome to another show of Dad's Lads and Kebabs. Sorry I'm a little bit late, Mickey. Just had a bit of a bit of a situation going on. Had Pizza Express for dinner. Doesn't agree with me. I so I had a little bit of a little bit of a time with the uh, old horse Do you know what? I've had five shits today and I'm on oh, keto. Was... So it went it's like the brown rain coming back from like <laughs> almighty. It was just like wow. So uh, brown I nearly, girl I, in the in room. The room. I nearly went when you were sending me funny gifts about having a shit. I was thinking oh, I'm going to have to go again. I drove home very fast about 10 minutes ago and I had to fucking leave all my stuff in the car and run to the toilet. And it's like, oh. There's no the relief this, when you this hit is a such toilet. A disgusting start and if you're listening is it though? apologize. This is, is ev- it though? everybody has a Everyone bad shits. belly. What what I think I had some dodgy avocado yesterday. It went out of date oh, on the eight, 18th, so it's like nearly nearly 12 days out of date. And oh, I my friend, I feel for you. Oh, it it, it was ripe, but it was watery. There was like, you squeeze it out of the shell and the water would come with it, and I thought, hmm. And today I felt it. You're making me need another shit. You're I making me, honestly, I, I feel like I need another shit. So what was yours? Pizza Express? Yeah, I never really eat pizza. I've gone off pizza, and then uh, oh, I love pizza. Love. We ended up, we ended up having just, and we we had a family thing and just shared it. But oh, we had dough balls with the butter, Share the garlic. Food? What's that about? Yeah. Who shares this food? Thing. You've got to share it when you when you have a family. You have got to share shit. It just doesn't make sense. Anyway, <laughs> I only an had I had three I had three slices and dough balls with the garlic butter. Oh, that's um, nice. Nice. Mm, yeah, I haven't... It was just heavy, I think. I haven't stodgy. been eating any... Yeah, that's it. Stodgy. Stodgy. And it literally, within an hour, my tummy was just going... Blum, blum, blum. Wow. So I was like, yeah. The brown... The brown rain of death. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, it's, it's a good way to lose weight. So, you know, why not? Hallelujah. It is. <laughs> hey, listen, you can drop a pound. <laughs> I'll tell you now, it's Pizza Express. I dropped like forty pound on the pizza. Wow, what's that? What's wrong with Z? Oh, they don't they don't deliver to you now. Too oh, far away. Live, live in a, a wrong catchment area for cheap Just cheap a bit, fast food. A bit far. A bit far. Doesn't want. Oh, so how was your holiday, my friend? I would like to ask. The holiday was very good, thank you. Good. You had a nice breakaway. I did, like a chocolate bar. I headed to Cornwall and spent some time at the Jamaica Inn. Very nice. Cream teas, yeah? Fucking scone this big, no joke. Pot of clotted cream. Yeah, it was It was like a... I had that for lunch. <laughs> it's like, wow. It's uh, very big. Did you just say like a chocolate bar I headed to Cornwall? Yeah, breakaway. The right. Bar. Oh, see, I'm just too slow. You shouldn't be. A bit, a, you should. He's a bit you shouldn't do stand up. I am. I am. It's been. A, it's been a long day. We'll well, give it I'm that. only here for the booze. So. Oh God, you're <laughs> such a dad. You're such a dad. <laughs> Oh God! Oh, you got to, you got to change and put whatever t-shirt you got with you after a very hot, sweaty day at work, digging graves and having funerals. So it's hot out there, people. Good day all round, then, really. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Apart from the fact my elbow is proper fucked now, I lost my uh, I lost my support. Why did he finish early? Did you jump, jump, and um, I've put it somewhere. Fuck off! It's here. I yeah, just, you just ordered had it, another yeah. one off. I just ordered another one off fucking Amazon last night to come today because my elbow has been so. I knew I'd find this fuck. It's under my telly. What the fuck? Because I I left it and, so I wasn't using it at work. So I've had, I've had to get this bad boy out. The old one two yick. 
Mm. Love a Wong to yik, yeah. Wong to yik. Oh, have a sniff now. Oh, smell, oh, mate. Sniff, sniff my can, elbow. I can, I sniff can my smell elbow. It. I know that smell so bad. It's, it's the it's, best feeling or best smell in the world. It's not it in is, the bath. It's, it's a, yeah, don't put it in the bath. Rule number one, oh, do not put it in the bath. I don't put hot water bottle on your back if you put it on your back because it, it makes it itch like a fucking bastard. Really strange sensation. Take it away. It doesn't itch. It's very weird how this reacts. Itching is the worst thing to do in the world, I think. It's one of those things that no matter what, you will. if you've, if you've got an itch, you will scratch it. But if you scratch it too much, you're going to suffer with it. Do you know, like scratching your bollocks if you scratch your bollocks too much it's sore <laughs> I, don't, I don't really have issues that i have issue with my feet the top of my toes feet, yeah yeah and the top of my top, top of my feet, if yeah. i touch it if i scratch it once that's it that's like it's like cocaine for my body i have to keep scratching like every 20 seconds it's like oh my god it's, scratch me till it's, til it's bleeding til it's bleeding till it's bleeding yeah mm. that is awful absolutely awful so now i just like the back of the nails and i just scratch like when you have a tattoo done and you're scratching it like this because you don't want to it's a fucking nightmare absolute nightmare Ta not scratching a tattoo is probably one of it's like you've got control and you can do that because the, the temptation just to rip through it and just scratch it you're like it it's after about it. a week, isn't it? When it's nearly, it's, it's healing. When it's well, flaky and when it's dry, scab, yeah. The scabs are, are starting to shake mm. off a bit, and it's like, ah, put loads of cream on it, and just like, ah. Saying that, yeah. you must feel it. Scratching a beard, though. Scratching your beard. Yeah, my beard is like overrun at the moment. I yeah, I'm I'm having a full, full trim tomorrow. So hair, beard. trim. Bollocks. Beer. <laughs> oh, I need to do. I need to, need to do the uh, down south to farm. I don't. I don't really do it that much anymore. Don't get manscaped. Ever, they fucking make you. Ever, ever, ever since manscaped fucks us up with the with the uh, with the shit pieces of shit. But I don't do it. No. Veet, veet's, veet sensitive for men. Yeah, that's is the way that forward. Yeah, just, yeah honestly, you do that. You, you don't shave. You just lather up the cream ding 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 and then and sit then there sit on the toilet, sit on the toilet. yeah you, watch there, you sit, sit on the toilet the other way around yeah <laughs> sit on the toilet the other way around watch a few videos <laughs> look at the water. take a little take a flat wire with you <laughs> smell the aroma oh, oh. the worst thing about the worst thing about hair removal cream though is once you put it on it's like be careful what you touch because you don't realize how often you go <laughs> like you don't realize how often you do it but even if you wash your hands yeah, yeah but you do but then you end up sort of say if you i don't know you just you touch the beat again oh, and then it's like oh god it's it on my hands again does it itch oh, on god. your bollocks when you do it because it does on your leg i just wondered if it was mm, because it tightens yeah. doesn't it? it like right. it goes cold i'll say that yeah. it goes cold yeah and it i would say but the worst thing is when you go to wash it off. So say you wash it all off and it all comes off. But the thing is, you when you're showering, you're doing all this. So you touch that bit. I've done this before. I've done this and done this before. And I thought, oh my god, what have I done? <laughs> but luckily, that's fine. Wash it quick. So my hair, God, my hair. Honestly, my hair just grows. Like no tomorrow. So does have mine. Look, look at my hair. Look oh shit, mark. you. You're not as shiny nearly, anymore. Nearly a week. It's going Friday. Although when I, fin when I finish work, my receding part is is up there now, which oh, I don't care about. I mean, it's nowhere near. Great. It's like a couple of inches on me, mate. Till you catch up with me. I don't care about it. Once I lose it, I lose it. End of. It's all it's, it's part. You look like me. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'd look like, but no one in my family's bald. You want to get the bald? bald um, filter on snapchat or something just to see what you look like I've, i mean i've had a shaved head before you know i have i've had a shaved head yeah but like like i bald like i'm bald shaved, oh i won't go bald. i won't go shiny bald but no fuck that i'm not shiny bald i'll go i'll go mr burns first <laughs> excellent <laughs> <laughs> with your little monk ring monk ring monk right, ring. ring yeah ring of hair 
He's, 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 he's all in, you know. Sorry, it's, it's, he's it's tiring. Tired, isn't he? he's, he's tiring fucking... being at the top of being the number one fitness podcast in the country. On Good Pods platform. Thank you so much, people. You are. Which a- is amazing. Amazing. There we go. Can you see that? There we go. A top 18. Number one, Dad's Lads and Key Babs. There we go. That is fantastic news. We were number six last week, and now we jumped to number one. So, we need to talk about fitness. <laughs> you know, it might help. Well, we're losing weight because we're shitting a lot today. So, I, that's, um... that's the first thing. Want to lose weight? Have lots of shits. <laughs> have lots of shits. And also, honestly, best thing to do is just... So we've done this thing now in our house. Do you know what? People, let's do this podcast. Let's, let's do this. Let's do a little show and tell. Now, Ooh, here we God. go. Now I was going for a walk. It's one of the best things, I've never one seen of the best things to do, house. if you are trying to lose weight, is to basically not fill your um, fridge full of food. Just fill it full of water. Oh, my God. <laughs> Is that your Just, Romanian water from Amazon or Costco? Costco. <laughs> Just fill it. Fill it full of water. take water. <laughs> hey, listen. If it's good enough for everybody else, good enough for me. Do you know Costco now? Is, Costco water is now that in demand. They only let you buy so much. They have to. It's back to COVID times. Oh, my God. They, whereas before you could go in and pick it up yourself... Now, this week when we went on Saturday, they have to give you, you say how many crates you want and they give it to you because there is such a fight over the Costco water. That's so weird. What's wrong with tap water anyway? I mean, did you get ill while you was away? No. Did the hotel not tell you to drink water or anything? No. Why should they? The water's... the water's contaminated in Devon and Cornwall. Devon? I mean, Cornwall, Devon. Tottenham, Starbucks. Hey, guy, I'm finished. <laughs> yeah, did they, did they not on. tell you not to drink the water? No. I thought the water's contaminated down there. We so the news tells you. Don't believe the news. The news tells you lots of things. Oh, it's all the things. Apparently, it's going to rain for three months solid. We're not going to have a summer. Fill your fridge full of water rather than food. Don't buy food. We honestly, we bought snacks are gone. We don't. We no longer own snacks. We've got more water in that in the cupboards. <laughs> Just oh, keep yeah. filling them. So honestly, best thing to do. Fitness podcast number one. Fitness podcast. How much day. is a crate of water? We may have discussed this before. To... Three pound. Three pound fifty. Oh, very nice. For uh, 40 bottles. 40? That's a weird number. Yeah, or do they come in packs Costco. of 10s or 20s? Oh. No, no, it comes in packs of 40s. Oh. I need to take you to Costco. You do? I've never been it. there. I, I want to play out for the day. I want right. to go. That sounds dodge. <laughs> it does, but when, when you're old like me, you need to have enjoyment in life. So yeah. playing out is, is fun. Well, we'll, mate, I'll take you to Costco. We'll go. Yeah, we'll go today. Got today. Got today. Got today. You don't it's, milk, it's, it's a mission of it's a mission of a drive, but we'll go. Yeah. Um, what else? Yeah. So fitness wise, what else? I've been I've been gymming it this week. Done two days. I've been gym twice since I started my job in February. Yeah, but look that's, at you. You're that's bad. Killing yourself at work every day, though. Oh no! Yeah, it is a tiring job. I would like to dying. go gym. I am dying. It's good to go gym because it, mm. it, no matter what you do in there, it will relieve the stress of any everyday life because you're concentrating on something else and you're using a lot of effort, energy to try and burn some some fat off your body, make yourself stronger. I feel like which makes your head stronger. Yeah, your mind absolutely. Focus. That's what people need. That's why they go into depression because they just don't do nothing. They just sit there, or there's some stress in life, but they don't have anything to take their mind off it. So they need something like the gym, if you can afford the gym. Some are dear, some are expensive, some are cheap. 
So I go council gym. So it's quite cheap. So it's all good. <laughs> I go council. I'm council through and through. Can't all I'm go council go through and through. Council. We drink. We fray bentos pies and tin peas. <laughs> Hey, I used to have them when I was a kid. All the time, I used to love them. I used to call them sheet and blanket pie because they're. I don't know why. I was little... Pastry's the best on those pies. It's like poof, the little fluffy. Oh, I, wa- I wonder how much nutrients is in one of those pies. Probably not much, to be fair. <laughs> or tin burgers. Oh my god, tin burgers. I still, just a... I, I want to look at one of them. I want to eat one on the show. I want to empty one and cook it on the show. Do you okay. know what I've not had in, in like years? I've not had, I've not, I mean, I'm, I'm talking years, probably about 20 years, I'd say. I've not had spam in about 20 years. Do you remember when we used to work together? I used to bring in little pots of spam with a little windy thing. Like oh, corned beef in that tin. So the, the <clears> spam, it's good, good for, good for um, protein and meat. Oh, God, bloody corned beef. Corned beef hash is probably my worst ever. I, I quite like that. That's quite nice. <laughs> oh, it's <fuck> nice. <laughs> I will eat anything. Isn't it weird now, as kids, the type of foods that we try to run away from are now our favourite dishes. Like, yeah. we used to have a lot of stews when I was a kid. I wouldn't make a lot of stews because they'd last the days on it. Badge cook, yeah. Yeah, so we used to do a lot of, a lot of Irish stews as kids. And I used to be like, mm. fucking stew again. Stew again. So I yeah, get it here. Now I'm I'm someone puts I'm someone says what do you want? I'd go for a stew any day. Do you like dumplings? Yeah. I hate dumplings. I really what? they're not nice. What's wrong with you? I I know, everyone says that. Oh boy. Yeah, I, I don't like dumplings. No. Give me a bit of mash or even a crusty roll, I'll dip in the stew. That's that'll do. Do you like do you like soup? Uh, yes. Apparently it's common now that a lot of people do not like soup. I love soup, but a lot of people don't like it. Broccoli and blue Stilton. Oh, no. Carrot and ginger is a new soup that's really nice, I like. And French onion soup. Love French onion soup. That's what you have at Christmas, isn't it? It's like a, a starter normally when you go out for a work to do. As an, as an appetiser, yeah. yeah. As an yeah, appetiser, yeah. yeah. Get a shitty bit, shitty bit of roll. <laughs> <laughs> shitty, shitty bit of rock. <laughs> <laughs> the stobby end or whatever. Honestly, yeah, but that, that's that's like a classic works party. The food's shit. Yeah, and you pay for your your. I wonder what your Christmas party will be this year. Like just four blokes going for a pint. Who knows? I don't know what's happening at Christmas. Do, How it works. Do your do your work group? Do they mingle? Do, you go, do they? Do the blokes go out on? Get lashed up. Get lashed up. Like a, no. I wouldn't even know what that means. What's lash? Oh, lashed. Get lashed up. Oh, Get mate. lash. Anyway, back to gyms. <laughs> I think gyms have been painted with a bit of a negative light lately. Why? <sighs> well, well, one, because I, do you know what? In fact, you know what I'm going to say it out loud on our podcast because we are the number one fitness podcast. If anybody listens to our podcast and you work at the Virgin facilities, just please can you make sure that obviously you review the hygiene policy because the gym that I pay £120 a month for is is absolutely fucking filthy. Is it still bad? They don't clean the showers. They don't clean the steps down to the pool. And I'm talking, I obviously took my daughter swimming the other day went to go in for a shower and someone had smeared shit down the wall in the shower. I was like, I'm not doing this. I just, I went, I lost my shit, lost my shit. The poor receptionist it wasn't her fault. She's not the cleaner. But the fact <laughs> that you pay so much money to these gyms because the, you know, they're supposed to be a better gym. Different you know, the level. facilities, are, the yeah. facilities are supposed to be better. They're not the shit. They're fucking filthy. Like, even now, you have to, oh god, I just can't stand how dirty the fucking gym is. If I pay for a shit gym, I don't, I, I expect a shit gym. But if you pay for a good gym, you expect the service, the place to be clean. It's fucking disgusting. Nah, oh, that's that's fucking bleh. that's vile, man. 
Mm-hmm. It was bad when I was there. You'd go in the shower. And just filthy. The floors would be slimy with like... Slimy. Whatever's on the floor. There'd be like bits mm. of possibly feces, who knows, lumps of jeers or whatever. It's like... It's <laughs> like fucking hell. Do you know how long, do, you, do you know how long it takes to lick all that up? I mean, come on. <laughs> no, literally. Come on. <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> this, is, this is a comedy podcast. We need to be done one in the comedy one oh. now. That's what we're going for. That'll do. <laughs> but yeah, honestly, all that money you pay, and it's just fucking disgusting. But yeah, so if you if you remember it, if you remember a virgin, or if you go to a different virgin, or you go to a different gym and you have problems with your gym of their hygiene quality because obviously you're sweating right you go to these places and you think right i want to get clean after i want to get clean after a workout i've been for a swim covered in chlorine you know you want to wash it off you go into a fucking shower and they're slimy fucking yeah there's empty there's empty bottles everywhere but nobody cleans them they do not clean them see when i was saying what it wasn't that bad there wasn't like litter everywhere but the floors were dirty and the showers were dirty and the toilets were like Bleh. you just stand as far, oh, yeah. like, as far even... away from the urinal as you possibly can without touching the floor just to try and aim your, your piss in it before you can run surely it. it's, it's that's one thing. that's one of the places where you'd put the money i get it right the gym you the equipment is you want top equipment but the equipment at virgin is fucking terrible it's absolutely terrible they've just they've just changed it all and it's even shitter I've seen that. I've seen the the little social media videos about that, and that oh, show. Which one do you go to? Riverside. The one I would, yeah, the Riverside one. Yeah, I've seen mm. it's specifically for that GM. They showed it. It looks nothing like it used to. Absolutely nothing like it. No, 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 nothing. What's with a color change? Like nothing. It's weird. Honestly, no. it's. it's... It, it's fucking. It used to be good at one once upon a time. Was. It was it good. Was, I was there every day, quite often. However, I went. To, I've, I think I've gone to. So I went to Nuffield Health, which was in Sixfields. That's quite posh. I, I went to. I went to DW when it was at when it was James. at St James. Yeah, yeah. That was that was a top notch gym. That was really good. They obviously they gave you towels. I it was that. really, oh, wow. yeah. They gave, it was really clean in there. The pool was excellent in there. Yeah. Um, where else did I go? You went to fitness, fitness for less. I was there fitness for, for less. While. Yeah. But that, that gym you got when you paid for it. You got twenty. You paid twenty quid a month. No contract. You no, had exactly. a gym full of equipment. It was absolutely quite a lot, wasn't it? fucking yeah. full of equipment. And then I've been, yeah, now Virgin, and then obviously some boxing gyms I've been to. Um, but some of the worst facilities I've ever seen at Virgin, for sure. And if I, if I wasn't tied in for another year's contract, I'd fucking end this. So when can it's you leave? Uh, I think January. January, so six months. I see. I, I can. I'm tied into August, so I think I will cancel mine in August. As much as I want to go now? to gym, uh, Wellingborough Wendell Gym. The council gym. It's fucking massive. It's got the there is, pool. Apparently, there's supposed to be a really nice one in Wellingborough. On the roundabout. You know, if you went past Sainsbury's and carried on going up. Not into Wellingborough, but on the big roundabout. Oh, yeah, God. Valentine's is down the corner. If it's a commercial to, gym. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, you know, Duncan Valentine from Dragon's Yeah. Gym. Yeah, it's his gym. Yeah. It's very expensive. Mm. It's probably like the same price as yours. Yeah, I've heard it's good and clean, but I've never been there, so I can't really comment. But yeah, I, I went might go. I, I can do. I, I've done a few yoga classes that rip my hip to fuck. It just makes me fucking angry, so I don't go anymore. But all my classes are free. Yeah. Anyway, so you know, but the the pool's free, the classes are free, the gym is a. A basic gym, to be fair, but it, it's nice. You don't get dickheads in there. The only don't bad thing dickheads. is they've they've got rid of the you know the prowler thing where you put the weights on and you push it up, up mm. and down. That's one of the things that made me go there, and they've got rid of that now. I don't know where that fucks that's gone. That's really so. My up. my next one that I'm going to try is probably 
I think I'll try Pure. Pure Gym was good until management changed and they kicked me out. Fuckers. Well, no, but there's another one. There's one uh, Russian Lakes, you know, where Waitrose is. Yeah. Oh, oh yes. There's yes, I've there. seen the sign up. There's one That's there. The so I might... Yeah, yeah. To be fair, so might... every Pure Gym is the same. So, for me, Pure Gym was really good. But towards the end, the people that were going there were not really, like the people using the gym, they were a bit, you know, knobbish. It ended up being a bit like Virgin, but on a smaller scale. Before, when I first started, it was all right. Just like basic, normal people in the gym. Then you started getting the girls and women going in there with very little clothing on, filming their videos and all the men walking around. You know, that's started. Like... So that's at Virgin now. So you've got a lot of people that are self-filming. And I witnessed my first ever, I witnessed a person walk in front of a camera the other day. And I was like, I wanted the, I wanted the person to say something. Cause I would have literally just been Joey like, Spool. <laughs> yeah, I'd have been like, send it. <laughs> I was not looking just at be... your ass. <laughs> I just, oh God, people that sell, I mean, that yeah, never used to happen. I mean, it, it used to be that people used to flex and take their t-shirts off and you'd get told to put your top back on. Yeah, that's weird as well. Oh, I don't know. See, I, I, I don't, I feel. I do I like, don't think it's... I do, I do like filming myself, like just from, I used to make like progress, TikToks yeah. and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't, I don't carry a tripod. I've got a little magnet that goes to the back of my phone that sticks to anything metal. So I'd have to find equipment um, mm. that it would work with. And it worked quite well. And you'd be like, ooh, ah. Oh, ah! <laughs> <laughs> no, I used to film myself doing the exercise. So, oh god! Just for my progress, I'd like say, you know, weight loss and all that. Tied, they're both tied in together. So, now speaking of weight loss, moving on to gym things and talking about that. My next thing I want to talk about is supplements. Now I know that we've discussed supplements many times, but what I want to do is I want to discuss supplements as a whole. Yeah. You and I have been guinea pigs for supplements for a very long time. As long as we've known each other, at once upon a time, one of us has been on a certain supplement. You've tried supplements that have made you feel absolutely terrible. Ooh, won't yeah. name products or won't name products or brands. No, you come and beat us up. <laughs> <laughs> However, I want to discuss supplements in two different lights. One, okay. do you believe that supplements work? Okay. Oh, you asked me. Do you yeah, yeah. Do, um, do you do you believe that no. supplements have a long-lasting effect on your body? When I was gymming it three, four, five times a week, doing weights, I would be taking whey protein. Yeah, eighty percent. You know, good shit. And I suppose I was getting healthier. I was stronger, and I was a little bit bigger, but. Is that because you're doing the weight? Is that re related to what food you're eating? Or is it that this stuff is really good and it's pumping your body with extra protein that you need? You know, but it's, it's like you cut one out and see what happens. If you cut, if you cut the fucking weights out and you just take a supplement, nothing's going to happen. So you, you can't cut that one out. Is it, you, like you say, you can't out train a takeaway. So it's got to be the food that you eat. You need to be in healthy, clean shit. No processed cakes, all that crap. Can't be eating mm -hmm. that. So it can't be the food you cut out. So is it a, is it the supplements you're taking? You know? It could. This is. I think this is what we're sold. Do, do, would you agree that the reason why you are sold a supplement is purely because you have seen a short clip of what the supplement is expected to do. Yes, tells you what it does on the fucking tin. Right. It? Yeah. It's an advert, right? Yes. So you have this supplement that tells you that you are going to, you're going to be more brain focused. You're going to have more energy, less brain fog. You're going to sleep better. Your sex drive is going to be through the roof. Your t testosterone levels are going to go up. All these things as older males is that what we're looking for is, yes, do you know what? I need a bit of, boost in all different aspects i need to have a healthier sleep pattern. yeah and the thing is i just feel that every supplement that you see out there 
has the same sort of video response. It's 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 <laughs> the, it's baiting you in. It's literally it's literally hook, line, and sinker. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and I just feel that everybody that's trying to sell supplements, no disrespect if that's your game, you sell supplements. It's your job to try and advertise a supplement. It's like a car salesman. You're a supplement salesman. However, if someone really saying, "Listen, I need the science before I'm before I'm going to start putting this into my body," yeah. I need the science. I need to know what are the negative aspects. Is it actually going to work? Or honestly, if it's ninety percent shit, please just tell me. Listen, I know you've got to sell it, but tell me, is it ninety percent shit? Before you carry on, you know when you would make like your your protein shake and you in the shaker you put it in your gym bag. Sometimes mm-hmm. I wouldn't finish it all, and I'd f- leave it in my car or something. I forget to take it out. A couple of days later, you you get the, the bar out, and it's and it's yellow. Yeah. This is like chocolate one. How is it yellow? Why does it turn yellow? Is that turning is yellow the... in my body? Or is it is it the protein separating itself from? I mean, I don't know what protein looks like when you separate, so it might be that. But no, it I don't look fucking nice. I tell you now. This you is it. I'll say, it's so I think. Wow. These are the things that they don't explain about supplements. Is is that Joe? I mean, fucking no. How many Joe Rogan owes me money? I'm telling you, the amount of supplements that motherfucker has told me to get on, and I've bought every single one of them. The new one is greens. Everyone's drinking green drinks again. Green drinks were being drank years ago. Spinach, broccoli. People, people were drinking them years ago. You know, people were blend. Yeah. People had ble- people had blenders years ago. Now you can buy it in a powder. You put two scoops here, and that's all your five a day in a shot glass. If is, does it work? <laughs> does it work? Does it fuck? I can't. I can't stand there and believe that everything that's good for you is in that one little drink, and the rest of the day you can eat a cheeseburger, fucking, you know, whatever you want. Yeah. However, one of the things that I have realised, and similar to you, is one of the best weight loss efforts that helps me out of any supplements or any sort of things is a simple calorie deficit that's it that's the only thing science will tell you will you will lose weight if today if yesterday i was eating 2700 calories and then for the rest of the week i'm on, i'm going to cut my calories down to i don't know not let's not do too extreme a thousand to 1500 because i'm yeah. trying to be good within that I watched a video the other day. I watched a few videos all on the same subject. And they said, listen, if you had a McDonald's and your McDonald's added up to, you had a McDonald's and then afterwards you had a Krispy Kreme and all of that added up to 1,200 calories and you didn't eat for the rest of the day, you would still lose weight. You would, yeah. Because you are locked into that calorie deficit where you're bringing your calories down. Well, you need to work out what your body, your BMI rate, so whatever your body needs to to live on a daily basis yeah yeah so just say i think mine is like i don't know i think it's like 2100 so 2100 calories a day yeah the average Mm -hmm. male is 2500 and Mm. the woman is 2000 yeah so for me to lose weight i would have to be under 2100 calories a day so if i was doing it i'd probably aim for 1500 i think 1500 is perfectly manageable 600 um, calories less than my body needs so for 600 calories that my body needs it will be taking fat from my body to use as the energy that it needs to survive to pump all my body Absolutely. parts and stay awake and my brain functions all that shit now yeah. do you need supplements to also maintain that so yes you're in a you're locked into a calorie deficit okay but if you was to if you was to take i don't know matcha powder uh fucking hell matcha protein good. good for you protein i don't know ginseng fucking i don't know moringa all these different ones that don't have don't consume in calories but consuming other benefits now would these would those supplements still give you a positive effect even though that you're in a calorie deficit because you're eating less calories, so your body's all automatically going to feel that it, it's a lo- at a loss. Yeah, but the, the supplements have nothing to do with what food you eat and how many no. calories you eat. It never, ever mentions that. 
So but then they all tell you to eat them with food. Oh, I don't listen to that bit. No, I know you don't before be. the gym or after the gym. That's it. He's running away. I'm running off. He's going to get some. Is this the protein that you fucking owe me? <laughs> Three years down the line, he's still got the whey protein that's gone yellow in the fucking packet in his cupboard. <laughs> nah, just, just more water. Although... Oh, shit, what have I done now? Oh, my God, it's We've night time. No, I was gone bed. We've lost light, people. We've lost light. But, yeah, going back to what you're saying, you would possibly feel the effects of, say, 500 calories less... But it would depend on what the 500 calories less you are missing out on. If you were used to eating cheeseburgers and cakes and that to make up your, your calories for the day, you cut that stuff out and you were eating clean, but you could possibly eat a bit more because the calories were less, you probably would feel better because you're eating yeah. good food that would make your body function better. Absolutely. So I don't really see the tie-in personally. I mean, I take Shilajit every morning like, with lion's mane and all that, ashwagandha and all that. And for me, it helps me get more energy. And I've noticed that at work. Now, is that in mm -hmm. my head? And I'm thinking, is it in my head? And I'm thinking I'm taking that. So now I am more energetic at work. I don't feel as tired or I've got used to the job. Could be. You know, for me, I will still take it. So I will continue. Ash but I don't think it will... This is my new one. So at the moment I'm using Moringa. Moringa. Moringa leaf. Two a day. And what do you do with that? Is they tablets or Oh yeah. These are these are just capsules. Okay, what do you do with it? You just take them, yeah? Just take it. And what do they do for the body? Oh god, everything. <laughs> Drives your car for you. Oh, wash it washes it. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking hell. I was, no, moringa, moringa again for you is kind of like a lot of pro, like a lot of supplements you just described. More energy, more efficient. I sleep better. Um, yeah. My appetite's not suppressed, but it's I'm fuller quicker. Okay. So okay. I don't feel I don't is, feel hungry. I don't feel irritable. Like is is that because you are eating less? So your stomach is shrinking. So mm -hmm. now you don't quite, feel the quite need possibly. to eat. Yeah, it's all tied in. But if this stuff helps, or you think it helps, is it bad for you? Is it bad to take something that you think helps you? I don't think it is. They, they say to only take this for three months in a row and have three months off. That's quite common. A lot of people do. It's yeah. quite common for a lot of uh, supplements and things like that. It's one of them things though, right, is that supplements... No one had to sell me this. I just knew about Moringa because I've used it many times before. But one of the benefits I always found from Moringa was my energy levels always used to spike, especially yeah. when I was working out. So for me, at the moment, obviously, I'm not working out crazy. I'm getting steps in. I'm doing as much as I can training-wise. and I'm, I'm active around the house. I'm not sitting yeah. still all day like I used to. So for me, that's a positive. But then but, you, you can have caffeine and be like a fucking jumping rabbit. You like Duracell oh, the other week. If I have a yeah, I say, <clears throat> so if I have a coffee now, so I wouldn't be sleeping till about three in the morning. Easy. See, I'm so lucky it doesn't affect me. I can oh, have coffee, no, coffee at night when I'm in my bed when I'm going to bed and I'll I'll fall asleep. So. Although I had a cup of tea, I had a cup of tea the other day, and do you yeah. know it's the first tea <laughs> I know. I had a cup of tea, and do you know what? It was it wasn't coffee. Don't get me wrong. But it was the first time I've drank tea, and I was like, "Well, that's not that bad." You get tea tongue afterwards, rather than dog shit coffee breath. You get tea tongue. <laughs> there's nothing worse. Than some there's nothing worse than a coffee drinker breathing on you. But you know, there is a cigarette coffee. smokers. <laughs> they breathe on you. They're worse. Oh, I wouldn't, like I wouldn't we... know what you're talking about. No, you wouldn't. Those days are gone. Yeah. Very. But sad yeah, so. Words. Yeah, so for me, supplements one of those things at the moment is because every video is about a supplement. It's either about a supplement, potential war, national service, or the fact that we're going to have three solid months worth of rain throughout the summer. So, but for me, supplements is one of them things that do they actually work? Do they serve a purpose? And 
Oh, he is. I mean, the supplement industry must make absolute freaking millions on they will. what they're selling. What they're selling people. However, I just feel that the younger generation that are told this will be the perfect supplement for you spend X amount of money on it, and it will give you the results you want. And the reason why I've started talking about this anyway is purely because Hope. one of the biggest weight loss drugs at the moment is. Ozempic, as you might well know. No, now, no, no. Ozempic, what's, what's Ozempic is it's an injection. It's, it's oh. an actual, it's a celebrity, what it's a fuck? proven. Okay, you're going to need to do your research on this. Ozempic is the new celebrity weight, Ozempic, oh. the new celebrity weight loss drug that's come to the UK. It was, it's, it's a diabetes medication. It's so well, that's, That can't be fucking good for you if you ain't got diabetes however it's been now approved you can buy it in boots now you can buy it in boots on prescription it's expensive don't get me wrong it's a hundred quid what, it's about a hundred 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 for do you know like an EpiPen? yeah and you just inject yourself and it basically shrinks your stomach and people so what it does is it shrinks the stomach purely to make you feel fuller so you lose weight however people are losing crazy amounts of weight for a couple of hundred quid so you're telling me that a lot of younger people with impressionable body issues are being yeah. told actually do you know what fuck supplements i can get this little needle that i pay 100 quid for and my stomach is i think that's how it, i don't know the delivery to be sure i'm not a doctor do not know the delivery but i believe it's something to do with something the internals shrinking to make you feel fuller so you don't eat see for me I, I would never ever take that because i wouldn't know what the fuck but then again we've all had covid jabs so we're all fucking stupid anyway you know we don't know what that goes, but... what goes in our body same with this injection you know does this let me ask you this question this ozempic pick pick yeah ozempic yeah People taking this, injecting themselves, making their stomach shrink, eat less, lose weight. Woohoo, good job. What does it do to a diabetic person that the, the correct intended use for, does that also shrink their stomach or does that go to a different part of the body that's needed and it takes it away? I so think it's, yeah, I think it's to support other parts of the body right. for the diabetic person. Yeah. However... It's that big that a lot of... I mean, James Corden used it for about a year. He went quite slim, didn't he? Have a look at it. Have a look at it. Ozempic. I mean, you can buy it from... You can buy it from Boots. You can buy it from online pharmacies in the UK. It's been licensed Ozempic. in the UK. Yeah. Ozempic. UK regulated and approved by Weight Loss Pens UK. Let's have a look then. That is on... So it looks like that. Yeah. Made by Voy, <laughs> the scooter people. <laughs> it's not, I'm not a doctor. £149 per month. You can get like a, a prescription. It should be £229 a month. And you have to be eligible to get this offer on this thingy. But, I mean, come on. You just, you fill in an online form. Find the weight loss treatment plan for you. Both. So you got WeGovy and Ozem Pick. They're mm. the same ingredients, same sort of pens. Both medications share the same exact ingredient. <clears throat> Effective in suppressing appetite. Manufactured by Novo Nordisk. Both same manufacturer. So weight loss license, diabetes, diabetes license. Higher doses, lower doses. So if you've got diabetes, um, you have a lower dose. One milligrams. Higher dose if you want to lose weight. If you're a fat fuck, yeah, you go to the high 1, dose. 1.7 or 2.4 grams. 15% weight loss with that one. Um, Imagine that, that. That's guaranteeing 15% weight loss reduction. That is that because it suppresses hunger. It yeah, reduces hunger and cravings. Paired with clinical support. Me, clinically proven weight loss medication. Wow. Lose so they are giving lose ten percent body weight or your money back. 
I suppose you'd have to eat sensibly, though. You couldn't eat that and go on the KFC diet or Krispy Kreme, could you? Well, you could do if you're in a deficit. I suppose, yeah, I suppose anything can work. It's also anything if if you're on a heavy sugar diet. Yeah, they sell it in Superdrug as well. Superdrug. Yeah, yeah. Boots. Oh, wow. Never heard of this. Fucking hell. So this is like a lot of celebs are doing it. A so lot of is, celebs are doing it. Is it like a continuous thing then? Obviously do, it says monthly. They say yeah. they say about you can oh, do it can, for about six months. Ten six week months, weight ten months program. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What's okay. that? Six months. Yeah. How much is it? In boots. Oh no, that's three months, ten weeks. Oh, here we go. Two point five milligram package, one pen. Two hundred nineteen pound in boots makes you feel fuller, reduces cravings, lose up to twenty percent after seventeen months with a lifestyle change. It says self-injected once a week. Dose increases every four weeks until you reach a maintenance dose. Prescription only. I mean, how, it's an online. It's an online prescription form. You how can, long do you take it for? Can... As a as obesity is treated as a chronic condition, weight loss medicines can be taken long term. Woo! That is something I did not know. Personally, for myself, I would not take it. Um, but if you are... You if know, I was in a serious... If you were, struggle, if you was a 20, 22 year old lad who's had a bit of a party life for the past four years since he turned 18, kebabs, beer and everything else... And then all of a sudden you're like, now I want to get to a stage where, you know, I want to be better in my health, but I haven't got the sort of, I don't know, the discipline to say no to certain foods and the lifestyle. Is, you know, is that going to draw a lot of people in to say, fuck me, only 120 quid a month and I'll lose 15% body fat. So you think that this is more appropriate for the the youngsters? You no, see, the thing is with... The see the thing is with this, I think people that would would benefit more with this is possibly um women after pregnancy, maybe they're having a hard time losing weight, etc. Or mm. older generation like my age, who over the years have struggled with weight loss, tried everything, tried all the schemes, the scams, didn't work. And then maybe this is but this is expensive. People by this point, my age, you've got kids, you've got house, you've got cars. When you're younger, I suppose, you don't have as many responsibilities, you know, they may have, but it's just, so, I just feel that tonight. this is the latest, this is the latest trend, you know, when I was, I don't know, I don't know, maybe 15, 16, do you remember the TV adverts that used to advertise the ab swing? Do you remember that? Yes. There was the ab swing or there was the shake away things that used to like shake yeah, you're just basically skiing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There were those things. And I just feel like the fitness industry has been the same for so many years of just basically trying to sell you. Because if you want something, this is this is what I was going to talk about the other day. And obviously, Mickey got some very, very loud voice notes from me because I was really excited. And this, this show is going to be a, this show is going to be a two part. We're not going to fit it all into one show. Oh and there's God. more things I want to just, there's more things I want to Woo-hoo! discuss. Content. But this side, of, this side of it is the fitness part of it is oh, the right. fact that if you're, if you've, if your answer to something is yes. So tired of being overweight, tired yes. of, you know, clothes, not feeling yes. Clothes, not clothes, not fitting tired of, you know, snacking all the time. Yes. The answer to this question is yes. So when, these companies, not necessarily tick, this tick, one, tick. but once these companies who make equipment, do you know like equipment where you're on your knees just going like that in your living room or fucking, or a shake away, well, you know, the, the vibration place. With, with the balm and you, you lean forward and you yeah. sit back. Shh, they still make, they start making them again. Or the press up boards, just do press ups. Oh, I, I had them. Up. With the different levels and the shapes. COVID, I bought the, the big black one with all the different colours on, with different yeah. areas of your body. Yeah, Me and my son would play with that. <laughs> just do press ups. Just do all that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? If you're not 
if you've got no need for supplements, don't buy them. And, and if you do want to use them because you want to feel their benefits, do your research on that one supplement within sort of a couple, at least an hour's worth of research. Is it for you? Yeah. Don't be sucked. Don't be sucked into an advert because all these adverts are designed to pull people in. So celebrities have been using this Ozempic for for about a year now, if not longer. The Kardashians are heavy users of Ozempic. They're all fat. <laughs> well, certain parts of them are fat. Oh, they're not even natural shapes, though. That's the worst no, part. No, they're it. like. <laughs> Like, it's not like... No offence, but... The, I know. No, it's not about offence, is it? Because everybody's different, but... Yeah. When you are a person of influence who's putting this content out there for people to be impressioned by, then they are. You know? Yeah, they will follow everything you tell them to, to follow. Oh, absolutely. Buy, you know? I buy my absolutely. brand. Okay. I like you, so I'll buy it. Yeah, exactly. that's not... Is that they fucking it's it's, do? it's just baiting you in to just be sucked into a lifestyle that one you can't afford, but you will make yourself afford it. Yeah. You know the people that are bl- the people that are you know have taken all these different kinds of supplements and spending two hundred quid a month on supplements. They more than likely can afford it. The average yeah. person can't afford to buy. And also, it's the same about the food as well. Is that one of the things I've been looking at is. The diets that I really wanted to start was the carnivore diet. Now, the carnivore diet for me was always a bit of a... No, see, this is the difference. Keto and carnivore are very different. So one thing I learned the other day. However, the opinion on carnivore diet is split down the middle. Like 50% of people say, yes, you will have really good results because you are eating butter, eggs, and meat. Yeah. You know, you're going to lose weight. However, people said, like, you can increase yourself to be having heart attacks and high blood pressure, and your cholesterol can go through the roof. But my question was, okay, hold on a second. If you are the average donut eater, cake eater, bacon sandwich, sausage and bean melt, anything you want kind of person. Sausage rolls, if, Greg's, if, yeah. If I, if I stop all of that, I stop all of that food, then all of a sudden, Niall is having a steak and asparagus for his dinner with a couple of eggs in the morning. Surely that's better for me. The problem is, as soon as you hear that one little bit say, don't do it, it's bad for you. I'm like, nah, fine, I'll have a Snickers then. <laughs> <laughs> Count me out, because this Snickers is doing me the world of good. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it makes me happy. <laughs> <clears throat> For two minutes. That's another thing I've noticed about food as you get older is that sugary foods, which I have no desire for anymore. No. If I always fancy something sweet, like I'm never, I never quite know what I want. So I just have a couple of like plain biscuits and then that avoids fur. Yeah, yeah. Or, so, if we want to go back to it, the old flavoured toothpick. I never did buy them, to be fair. Oh, you should do. I didn't really... I don't have issues with my cravings. Uh, yeah, but me as a, as an ex-smoker... For that sort of thing. So, for me... I it, do. However, if yeah, I was to go back to smoking tomorrow... You have to have something in your hand, your mouth, etc. I'd, lo- I'd lose a shit ton of weight. Because when I, when I smoked, I never wanted to eat. My appetite was gone. Can I just... What is... Like, yeah, sorry. So I Go saw ahead. This, I just saw this thing today while I was after work. It says <clears throat> basically about sugar. Yeah, sugar in a baby's brain is called ADHD. Sugar in an adult's brain is called dementia and Alzheimer's. Sugar in your eyes is called glaucoma. Sugar in your teeth is called cavities. Sugar on your skin is called aging. Sugar in your sleep is called insomnia. Sugar in your blood is called diabetes. Excess sugar in your system is called cancer. Sugar on Wall Street is called billion dollar industry. Addiction to Uh sugar is eight times more powerful than cocaine. And I believe that. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because studies show that sugar is potentially the worst thing you can ever put in your body that doesn't kill you, basically. It kills you very slowly. It gives you all these diseases. Like, if you have cancer, they say do not eat carbs because it spreads. So, basically, if you have cancer, go on Atkins, Keto, Carnival Diet. Because yeah. carb-free does not spread it. The sugar, the cells need sugar to, to grow, to be stronger. And if you cut all sugar out your body, all the shit comes out your body that you don't need anymore. And that's, if you never notice why old people, like in their like retirement years, hardly any of them ever have sugar in their teas, in their coffees. They don't have cakes. If you notice that, is it because they've learned? Because they're... Or is it at that years? point, is, is, it, is it too late at that point? Yeah, but if it's too late, why would you give it up then? Because you, you're fucked anyway. But then, can your body, now that you've had so many years of sugar exposure, can your body just go completely without sugar? I can. I don't have sugar anywhere. I mean, I have sweetener to supplement that. Maybe that's just as bad, I don't know. But for the effects that sugar does to your body, it's nothing like... Um, it's the same as artificial sugar, though. So all, all these years that we, that we thought that coke diet coke and coke zero and diet pepsi and all the zero drinks yeah we thought they were good for us because they're zero yeah. but artificial sweeteners long term are just as bad people say that people say oh you shouldn't be having sweet in your coffee fuck off no it's like the thing is like for me i maybe have a can of coke zero. i mean we only buy coke zero or Fanta Zero. I don't think mm. drink Fanta, but I like Coke Zero. I have one or two maybe a week if I can help it. Yeah. But I have it. However, straight after it, I just feel like I just feel yeah. so. Yeah, yeah. The soon as anything gassy touches me, bar, bar um, like so, like soda water, soda water and lime is another one that I like. Lime and soda, yeah, and then, drink that. Lime and soda, and then nice. sparkling water. Love sparkling water. Flavoured um, or normal? No, normal. Okay. Yeah. That's the worst drink I've ever had no, in my it's life. Not. No, it's not. It has, it's, it just, it's just wrong. What's wrong with people? It's not. not but, at all. Yeah, I when I'm on keto, I have Pepsi Max because I like I like the mango Pepsi Max. Really nice. Because um, I prefer the taste to, to Coke Zero. It's just a you know taste preference. Mm -hmm. They're both probably just as good or as bad as each other. But I have that for my uh, like craving. Maybe mm -hmm. it doesn't taste sweet. It fills a void, like your toothpicks, I suppose. I mean, I don't really get yeah, they don't. Things, but but for me, to these things are not these things are not for anything in particular. I wouldn't say they're for one thing or another but do you know what they are they're a time filler yeah so because i'm used to i don't know something just being there at hand in your mouth yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry you're waiting for that it's not my bag man i've got the worst i'll be the worst i can't i can't even brush i can't even do you know the tongue scrapers i bought one of them god looks like mayo <laughs> Story time, story time for you, right? So, when the whole tongue scraping thing was a big thing, big gimmick back in the day, I was doing it in the mirror. And as second, no, third time in, I went in. And as I went in, I touched the back of my throat. And as I touched the back of my throat, I projectiled all over the mirror. <laughs> That's funny. True story. True story. <laughs> oh, I can't do it. My My... Anything that goes near my throat. Like... Yeah, sometimes if you brush your teeth wrong and you touch the bag, it's like... It's like... Yeah. So anyway, this 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 show for me is is a two-part because, yes, we've, we've delved into the fitness and doing, do supplements really work? Do they have a benefit? And are they relevant in today's society or are they just a money-making scheme to tell people buy this supplement and you will get your dream results. And I just feel that we owe it we owe it to people to say, actually, do you know what? I've been buying these supplements for so long and do you know what? I feel like there's nothing. 
I'd love to talk to somebody. If, if somebody out there who you know who's been on Ozempic, that would be my next thing I want to talk to somebody about. Purely because I want to know. I want to know why. What was their decision? What brought them to the point of saying enough's enough? Can, and also, yeah. go ahead. No, go ahead. No, I was just wondering, when you talk about supplements, do you specifically mean the gym supplements or like the Shiller gym? No. Vi- Vitamin supplement. Everyday, everyday okay. supplement. Because so it doesn't have to be gym related. It can just be lifestyle no, 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 no. related. No, when I mean supplements, I mean anything. I mean from Shiller's to Lion's Mane to BCAAs and anything. Anything that you, you know, ginger and turmeric shots. Yeah. I love them. Do they work? Yeah. Probably not. However, they make me feel great in the morning. In the head, they work. I used to take them. In, the ginger shots from Lidl. In little cans. I oh, see. I make. I make my own. God. I make my own, and yeah, they just. They're like a zing. They're just like a like a. They're like a bit of a, a switch on thing in the morning. It's like a. It's time to go. Thing for me. They're brilliant. Yeah. However, you know, again, benefits. Ice baths. Ice baths are not a supplement, but yet they they are out there telling people that they provide you with results. Now, many many different companies are all making ice baths now. You can buy a cheap one for about 30 quid. You can buy an expensive one for about three grand. Okay. Do they work? Do they have a long-term benefit? Or are we just all dickheads in our back gardens in little tubs of little ponds of ice? But then I've I've also read and seen that the effects of an ice bath. Cold water therapy. Yeah. It sends your body into shock and it's like a reset button and all your cells go. Where before they lay dormant. Does, do you do you have ice baths? Do you feel yes. the effect? Do you think? Yeah. <gasps> wow. Honestly, so this is this is this would be my just quick analysis of an ice bath. Okay. You stand there and look at it, and everything in your body tells you, "Do not get in. Do not get in. Don't be stupid." <laughs> you get in. The moment you get in, you get halfway in, and then all of a sudden you get to about here, and you're like, "Nope, get all the way down." I get to about here. And the moment I get to that point, I'm like, breathe in, out, breathe, and just keep on breathing. And I will be in there for as long as I can. And I can't do anything. I can do maybe 45 seconds. Probably done a, probably done under a minute before. Yeah. As soon as you leap out, you just dry yourself. You're not shivering like... You just dry yourself because you're out of the pain. Yeah. However, within 10 minutes of being 10 minutes of drying yourself, your body is like that. You are awake. You're happy. You're, you're just moving. It's just, it's one of them things that's just like, yeah, this is, this is, this is a feeling. So in theory, it does work then. It does rejuvenate all your cells in your body, wakes up every organ, every muscle, every tissue. It just makes you feel proper like, whoa, yeah. now it's time. It's time to go. And I think that's the, I, I think they're great. I think they're great, but I think that everybody will have a certain opinion to say they don't work. Just like most things, like most supplements, because I'm not saying no supplements work. However, it's a big industry. Are people being missold things that potentially don't work? More than likely. Do they have an? Is there a, is there supplements out there that can cause long term health risks? There's been many of them that have. You know, yeah. This this the steroid world, for example, people have a very very sort of grey cloud over steroids. However, they've been used for lots of many things, and a lot of a lot of people that you see in movies, in shows. They're all on them. Yeah. People people think the rock's not on them. He's on them. It What's ain't natural. It's fucking huge. Like, don't be fooled. Don't be fooled to think that these people are. Oh, these are 100% natural. They're not. They're not. No. We, we all wanted the results. And, and the reason why some people take these is because they want to make the best out of themselves. It's a personal thing. It's a very personal thing to be really body sure of yourself to say actually you know what i want to push myself further than i can go but anyway people we're going to do a part two on this and if you like today's show come back for part two and thank you 
for watching another show of Dads, Lads and Kibaros. Thanks for being on the show. See you later, gym people. Deuces. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs>